dive into the first topic, shall we? Uh, COVID snitching. Is it a thing? So Good Morning America anchor George Stephanopoulos, he recently revealed that not only his wife is COVID-19 positive, but he was also recently diagnosed as positive himself. But it turns out maybe he's not following all the rules that he himself talks about all the time on his show because his neighbors are calling him out on Facebook that he is out and about and, again, not following the rules. The question is, if you saw something like this, would you snitch? So here's the thing. A couple of weeks ago, I shared that I'd kind of peer out my window at the park across the street from my house, and I saw all sorts of people congregating. There was no physical distancing going on. But the key word is privately. I privately stewed. I didn't report anybody. I wondered why they were out <laughs> there. And I'll tell you, this is, what, this is what makes me nervous about going to my sister's house or going to see my parents or my nieces. I feel that, you know, the streets are watching. I'm thinking that eyes will be on me and somebody could report me. And that is the single most thing that I'm afraid of. Someone like, say, Deanne on Facebook. Okay, here's what Deanne had to say. She said, our neighbors across the street from us have visitors over all the time. And yes, we reported it. Nothing has been done. They also went out somewhere last weekend, all of them, including the new baby. So people are watching and ready to report. That's keeping me at home. That, that's the thing that's keeping me here. It is. Wow. Well, the other thing is, is that I think being in isolation has brought out a lot of kind of marmish behavior, a lot of, <laughs> you know, and I, it tries to be crazy. It happened to me at the grocery store. I was maybe instead of seven feet away, I was like five feet away from a woman. And she turned to me and said, could you step back, please, sir? We're supposed to be social distancing. <laughs> I was like, okay. You know, I just stepped back. I, I would never report George Stephanopoulos, but he's a Democrat, <laughs> right? And so he's a target. Oh, and okay. so I think that's probably think why. You know, probably why that people are getting mad at him because it's like, well, uh, you know, you and your, uh, you know, obstructionist liberalism, you're out here on a golf course without a mask. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I like that? I, I noticed that you, you use the word isolation there, Tyler, and I think that one of the things that is confusing to a lot of people is the whole, like all this terminology. So there's quarantine, there's isolation, self-isolation, there's physical distancing, and there's a difference between all of them. But colloquially, we've been interchanging all of these expressions or all of these words. Like, I don't have to be in quarantine or in self-isolation, and neither do any of you, but we've been using those words. Like we've been saying, hey, I've been isolating. I've been, and according to the Government of Canada website, which I've been looking up, um, those of us who don't have COVID-19 symptoms and who've never tested positive for COVID-19 and who don't have reason to test for COVID-19 and who have not traveled have no reason to quarantine mm -hmm. or isolate, but we have to physically distance. So these are, are they rules? Are they recommendations? Are they guidelines? Like I'm going to the government's website and I'm reading this and that's when I'm like, okay, I've been doing the right things because I don't have symptoms, because I haven't tested positive, because I haven't been out of the country um, in the last two weeks. I uh, can physically distance uh, by, and I can go for a walk. While I'm on the walk, I can maintain a certain distance between people. Um, I only go out for groceries very, very sporadically. So, but I don't know that people are going to this website and I don't know that like people are getting the rules from this website because there's so many experts out there too, like doctors who are on the news or giving interviews and they have their recommendations. So I think it's very confusing to people about what the rules are and who's breaking them. 
Mm, I'm with Tyler too, though. I think that there is a bit of an uppity thing here. Like, Lainey, you have come by, we've talked about this before a few times, to have a socially distanced visit, meaning that you stand at the end of my property, which is a good eight to ten feet away from me, and we've chitter-chatted for a little while, and then we both go our separate ways. <laughs> I go back to my house, you go home. Yes. And I've thought to myself, I wonder if there's going to be a neighbor who's going to try to snitch. And what do I do if, a, if, a, if somebody shows up at my door, like a police officer, going, were you not respecting the rules? I don't know what I would do but it reminds Show me of them like the website. there are I know there are those neighbors though who just like to be nattery and be nosy and I'm not saying that those are necessarily my neighbors but I am concerned for that kind of tendency it's particularly in neighborhoods where let's say they're of a certain nature of a certain maybe affluence and maybe there's somebody who's more marginalized who happens to be in that neighborhood will this be used as an excuse just to target somebody to to exhibit their bigotry in a way in a way that they maybe couldn't otherwise and they're going to use this as an excuse I'll leave you with this Sherry on Facebook wrote in and said, no, I think that snitching is bad karma. I try to give people the benefit of the doubt. It is never black and white. People are motivated by many factors. And I think, Sherry, that's such good advice. We don't know everything and the reasons why people are out and about. All we can take care of is ourselves and the people around us. You know what? The bottom line is, everybody, let's stay safe so that we can all get through this together and life can return to normal. Okay?